hello guys welcome back to channel so in today's video we will be solving lead code question 2381 shifting letters second part so in this question the problem statement says you are given a string s of lowercase english letters and a 2d integer array shifts where shift of i is equal to start of i end of i and direction i for every i shift the character in s from index start to index and inclusive forward if direction is equal to 1 and shift backwards if direction is equal to 0 so the question statement it is not cleared by this but i will explain what this means shift of i so the question says shift of i is equal to start of i to end of i and it, it, there is given a direction so in this question you does not have to shift the character from this index to uh, start index to end index you have to shift its value so suppose if at ith index the character is a ith index the character is a so you and you are given that you have to shift from 0 to 2 1 means you have to positively shift the character at i index from 0 to 2 means you does not have to change the position of the character in the string so if the string is given like a b a string is like a b a so you does not have to change the position of zeroth uh, ith character from 0 to 2 you have to change its value so for ith character it is given 0 to 2 by 1 so you have to change its value so it will become v b from uh, a to b because we have to uh, add positive 1 so that's why it will become b you does not have to change the position in string you have to change its value by alphabetical order and it uh, is saying that wrapping is allowed means shifting a character forward means replacing it with next character wrapping around so that z will become a if z character is at i at index is z and we will add a 1 in it so it will become a means it will be taking modulus of 26 similarly shifting backwards means replacing with the previous so it is clear so the correct approach for this type of question is we use difference array so th what difference array is it is used to, to effectively uh, solve the query type question means in questions like you have given range l to r you have to perform some operation like add one or add two so you use difference array how the difference array works suppose we have given a array one two three and two, one two two and three and you are given that uh, you will be given queries and you have to perform uh, adding operation or subtracting option it, operation in it so suppose we are given queries like 0 to 1 add 1 uh, 1 to 2 add uh, 2 and 4 3 to 4 add 3 so how the difference array works we create an array of size n plus 1 we create an array of size n plus 1 then we do starting index of every query so in this case we take the like example this 0 2 1 0 2 1 we have to add 1 so in this case the left is 0 and right is 1 so v right is 1 so in difference array we will it is a formula for difference array that difference array of i is equal to difference array of l means starting index of the query it is equal to uh, every any pro, uh, operation that it is given so in this case we have to add one so we will mark it as one and for difference of right plus one we add plus one in the right of the query and it is marked with minus one means we have added this sequence or query in this array for the, so this become di this become difference array now if we, i will process this query then this is the range is marked and for second query 1 2 2 add 2 so it will become difference of 1 means left which will become 1 in this case left is equal to 1 so it will be marked plus 2 but it is already minus 1 so when we will do plus i will make an array to show it very clearly it is array and we are given 4 index we have make 4 0 we have 1 2 3 4 5 so now we will mark 0 to 1 at the 0th index we will mark it as 1 because difference of l is equal to any per operation we have to perform so here it will come 1 and right plus 1 is equal to minus of operation so in this case 1 plus 1 2 and at 2 we will mark it as minus 1 and for the next query at 1 0 1 at 1 we will mark it as 2 
and at 3 we will mark it as in this case 0 1 2 3 0 minus 2 then for next query at 3 we will add 3 so 0 1 2 3 so 3 minus 2 it will become 1 and next query 4 plus 1 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 ok so yeah, here the index is wrong because we cannot go uh, 0 1 2 3 so size uh, the example I take it wrong so here we said that 3 2 3 so at 4 we will add 3 so it is a formula for query processing so here it will become uh, 3 so so here it will become 3 now after so you can take note of that the, that formula for difference array is difference of l is equal to operation we have to perform and difference of r right range of the uh, operation right plus 1 is equal to minus of operation and then after making this array we take the prefix sum of this whole array so prefix sum i explained to you in the yesterday's video that it will become 1 and then sum of the previous value it will become 3 then minus 1 plus 3 2 and then 1 plus 2 3 and 3 plus 3 6 so now we will just have to for uh, iteration over uh, array or iteration over array and then we will check if a prefix sum of i is equal to 1 so we will add 1 in it it is 3 so we will add 3 in 2 then for prefix array of uh, 2 it is saying 2 so we will add here 2 and then for this we will add 3 so it will be given the answer so now code so now let's code this for this problem first we will check int n is equal to h dot length then we will create int prefix is equal to int prefix no vector of int prefix prefix of size n plus 1 and initially it will be all 0 then we will do for int i is equal to 0 i is equal to less than n i plus plus no we can directly auto int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus we will extract the vector from here vector of int p is equal to shifts of i now we will have the uh, operation we have to perform then we will do prefix of p of 0 means here it will be given in form of l and r and operation so we are extracting l from it and if plus equal to we will do plus if the operation is means p of 1 p of 2 if p of 2 is equal to equal to 1 means we have to go forward so we will do plus 1 else we will do minus 1 it will be marked for left index but for right uh, prefix of right plus 1 we do opposite when we have to add we when we have to add we add my uh, minus of operation so in this case but just the condition condition will change so that prefix of r plus 1 is equal to p2 is equal to equal to 0 means we have to go backward so 1 we will do minus so if it will become 1 means we have to go forward so we will do minus 1 that is the formula and if it will become not 1 so it will become minus 1 and we will add a plus 1 at so now we will just do prefix sum for int i is equal to 0 i is less than 1 i plus plus if i is greater than 0 we will do prefix of i is equal to plus equal to prefix of i minus 1 so it will be given as a prefix then for int i is equal to 0 i less than s dot length or n i plus plus we will find int net shift we will find net shift which will be which will be given by how many shift we have to perform so to make it in a range we will say so net shift will become prefix of i modulo 26 then we will again take tw plus 26 by modulo so that it become into the range which we have to perform then we will say s dot at i it will become s dot s of i is equal to a plus s dot at i minus a plus 26 by 26 modulo and we will say that s dot, dot at i is will, will become to a plus s dot at i minus net shift we have to perform the by modulo then we can just return s 
so we'll use an auto function for auto shift op of shifts we will check in start int end and then we will get direction so it is just another form of writing then we will say, say prefix of start is equal to direction then prefix of and plus one is equal to direction minus so yeah it will work thanks for watching if you have any doubts you can ask in comment section